If you want to record a video of yourself reading a script but not looking like you're reading a script, a teleprompter is the tool you're searching for. I've got five different consumer level teleprompters. Each one does certain situations well and not so well in others. In this video, I'm going to share my newest purchase, a teleprompter that works with your webcam. And if you like nicer toys, at the end of this video, I'll share an even better version that I have on loan from the manufacturer. I'm Brighton West and I help professional coaches use video and teleprompters can be really helpful. I'll have links to other teleprompters at the end of this video. What I'm sharing today is the teleprompter I'm using right now. It's a Glidegear TMPWB and it's projecting my script from my computer screen onto a two-way mirror in front of my webcam. It looks like I'm looking directly at the camera and that's really important. If a viewer sees you looking off camera or they see your eyes moving back and forth, then you look inauthentic and they'll work with someone else. So let's get this guy set up. So what this is with all teleprompters is you have a one-way mirror and the camera lens sits behind the mirror and the um, script is bounced off that mirror. Now in this case, this has a, another mirror that's bouncing it first off the screen and then up onto the, the, the two-way mirror and then over to your eye. So that's kind of how it works. So let me, let me set it up for you. So all you're gonna do is just kind of put it over the top of your monitor. There we go. And this will work with an internal webcam or an external webcam. I just happen to like C920 webcam. Then you'll put this flap over. So it's important that there's no light coming from behind that mirror. So they've got a little uh, flap here and I think you're supposed to put it in front of the camera, but it was really hard to get it perfect. Um, so typically what I do is I just put it behind or on top of the camera and then I've got a little washcloth that I add. That's just easier. It also goes and covers the sides because I've got a pretty bright light coming from over here and that can uh, mess with the light coming in behind. So this is uh, this works pretty well. Depending on which camera you're using, if you're using an internal camera, uh, what I found is that you sometimes have to place a little piece of paper behind on the glass here so that you don't have the white from the screen or the light from the screen coming through. But all that is is a piece of construction paper. So we're gonna start out with this website that I like. It's called qprompter.com. This is completely free. You'll go over here and you can cut and paste in your script into this quick start here. You can see this is the script from this video and you can decide if you want it narrow or wide or max, kind of play with these different settings. This reverse setting would be if you only had one mirror, but in this case we have two. We have the, the one below and the one above. It's going to be normal. And then just click start prompt and it's going to open up a new tab with your script in it. So you can see it's a narrow column down the center of the screen and that just helps so that your eyes don't move back and forth too much. Another trick would be to move further away from the screen and that way your eyes don't move back and forth as much. Once you have it in here, you can select the speed up in the right and then just click forward. I think you might have to click it twice. Oh, just once. And you can see that it starts to scroll. And you can, like I said, you can change the speed. You can stop if you make a mistake. I've made a number of mistakes making this video. So you can hit stop and reverse back and start over and click forward. But what this is doing is it's bouncing the script up from the computer screen to the mirror to the other mirror and back towards you as the speaker. So you can kind of see that this is bouncing in front of the camera and that's where I'm reading and that's why it looks like I'm looking at the camera while I'm reading. So that's basically how this works, but really it's gonna need a lot of adjustments to get to that point. So let me go through some of the adjustments. Each of the, each of the parts here. On this, you have a, a screw on each side, which allows you to, to turn, to loosen the bottom mirror and then move it up and down and you look at what's showing up in the top mirror. Same thing with the top mirror. You've got actually two different screws that allow you to move the top mirror into different angles. And really what you want to do is adjust those so that your webcam is in the center of the top mirror and that your script is reflected right in front of the webcam. So like I said, there's, there's three different adjustments that you can make here to make that happen. You'll just have to play with them until it is perfect. Once you've got everything all set, and on a Mac you can use QuickTime Player and you would go to File, New Movie Recording. That's gonna pull up your webcam. And of course you need to make sure that your webcam is centered and it's not seeing the frame. Uh, so nothing is blocking it. Let me see, what is block? Oh, this is the webcam cover is blocking it a little bit. I'm also seeing the top of this. I'm gonna have to do some little adjustments here. 
Um, this does pull my, my screen down. This is a rather older Mac. You would have to do a few different adjustments to make this work. There we go. Now I've got the, <laughs> the, the script is bouncing to the right point and the, the webcam is not seeing any of the frame of the teleprompter. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the cover back on. Just helps to make it a little easier to see. There we go, and that's not in the way. So now we've adjusted that and we can go into QuickTime Player and we're going to choose, make sure we're on the right webcam and then just click the record button. And so this is where you would start with five different consumer models. Then once you've got it recording, you would head back to your teleprompter software or teleprompter window and we're going to click forward and I'll start reading once again level teleprompters. Each one does well in certain situations and not so well in others. In this video, I'm going to share my newest purchase, a teleprompter that works with your webcam. So that's how it works. It's bouncing off the screen. Uh, let me just show you what it would look like if I weren't doing this. If I didn't have this teleprompter hardware and I was just using the teleprompter software, uh, I'll show you what my eye line looks like then. And that's where you have that disconnect with your viewer. I'm Brighton West and I help professional coaches use video and teleprompters can be really helpful. I'll have links to other teleprompters at the end of this video. So what you can see there is that when I'm looking down at the script on my screen, I'm not making eye contact with the camera. And there's a the very narrow uh, margin of error where if you're not looking directly at the camera or within one degree, two degrees maybe of the camera, your audience is going to feel the disconnection. So that's why you need this hardware beyond just the software that runs on your computer. And when you've gotten to the end of your script, you would just go back over to QuickTime Player and click the stop button. And you're going to have that video of you speaking as if you are reading either on or off screen. So a few of the downsides of this teleprompter, it is, it's $150, so it's a little expensive for something to mount to your computer. Uh, it, it mounts and it rests against your screen with metal parts. I'm not too excited about that long term. And it's got a lot of little adjustment things and you've got to kind of twist and, and do different locations and they, the screws go in the opposite di directions of each other. Um, and we've got that part where you can't, you, you can kind of see it now maybe, let me do this, um, where you have to put the paper behind, um, but that seems like that just happens every time. Also this, this kind of top part is I think a little, little bit weak um, where I have to add the, uh, the washcloth over and the way it mounts is uh, not so bad if you've got a relatively thin monitor, but uh, I've got an older monitor too that I use that's pretty thick. Um, and this just kind of like sets on top. And finally, the mirror on this is just not as bright as the other one. Um, it's It works for teleprompting when you've got white on black, but for other purposes, it doesn't work as well. There's a little part that comes with this that allows you to use this on an iPad, but if you're gonna be using an iPad, uh, there's just a better solution for that anyway. That solution is software only. Uh, you can find a link to that video up here. I gotta say, this is far from my favorite teleprompter solution, but it's the only one I own that works with a webcam on your computer. And it's much more affordable than the only thing similar on the market, the Bodolin Pro Prompter Desktop. You can see me review that and you'll see why it's more expensive. Just check the video out here. If you wanna use an external webcam with your iPad teleprompter, check out this video. If you wanna use just your iPhone, check out this one up here and to mount your iPhone teleprompter to the front of your camcorder or DSLR, check out this one. I'll see you in the next video.